Hey there, today we are taking a look at how I installed the gun wall, the in wall, and the spacers that go between the two. The gun wall is the uh, two pieces of wood that are on the outside of the canoe at the very top. The in wall is the inside piece, and then that has spacers separating the two evenly. The gun wall is made up of two three quarter by three quarter boards, and those two boards are both glued together. So I applied the first one by clamping it down and making sure that it was where it needed to be. And then I screwed that into the stem so that it wouldn't move after that. Then once I did the other side, I applied the top gun wall boards and did the same thing. Once I got everything where I needed it to be and got the fronts of them cut to the right angles, I went ahead and glued them together and clamped them and left them to dry overnight. Unfortunately, I ended up actually making four in walls because I didn't realize that the measurements in the directions were actually wrong. So they weren't coming to where they needed to be on to look good while they were sitting on the frames themselves. Now, all of this was a pain to have to find wood in my scrap pile that would work for the in walls. It actually turned out good because it gave me plenty of practice cutting the notches at the ends of the in walls for the breast hook to sit on top of. Now part of the in wall is very married up to the breast hooks, figuring out where the breast hooks are gonna go and how far back and stuff like that. So I actually ended up building the breast hooks and then installing the in wall at the same time. And I'll show you guys the process of building the breast hooks in the next video. Now once the breast hooks were installed, I was able to completely screw down the in wall. And the reason why that's screwed is for the same reason that the gun wall is screwed, is that I wasn't quite sure the best way to do so without possibly ruining the whole project. Now because these weren't the original in walls, I actually forgot to knock off all of the corners of the in wall while it wasn't installed. So I ended up taking my sander and sanding the corners off to make it comfortable in the hand. As always, if you like this part of my build, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below, hit that subscribe button as well. And because I don't upload regularly, make sure to hit that bell so that you're notified when I upload. Until next time, you have a good one.